Hello, welcome to my Sunday. Well, that's a bit of a funny start to the vlog. I'm not vlogging today. Well, apparently I am because I just had the urge. I was gonna have Saturday and Sunday off from filming so I could just get my head down, do hours of practice, hours of video editing. So I've got a couple of little other projects on the side that I'm just doing as favors for friends of mine as well. And I thought that's gonna be really boring for you all to watch on the vlog, so I just won't vlog. But I just, I'm missing you. Come back to me. It's my life is so empty without you. <laughs> No, it's not empty, but you know what I mean. Um, anyway, I also thought, right, I bought some tempeh the other day, which I've never had before, and I'm gonna try it in a minute, and I thought some of you might be interested to see what it looks like, and um, my initial reaction to that. And another thing I need to tell you is about this blinking puzzle. It might look finished, it's not really. Well, that bit's missing, so nobody's gonna want this puzzle now. Now, at a cursory glance, this tree may look as if it is done properly. In reality, <laughs> I've just jammed a few in that don't fit because so many of these are in the wrong place that I just, oh. the last few nights, I was just taking pieces out and trying them somewhere else to see if they would go somewhere else as well so that I could actually fit these last couple in. So I've just jammed them in. I'm like, right, that's done. It's finished. I've finished. <laughs> I've had enough. So here's the tempeh. I think it's pronounced tempeh because Marion told me how to pronounce it in the comments and I think that's what she said. I'm trying to remember, but I think it was that. Right, oh, scissors are over there. Now, I've never had it, but I think it's like quite closely related to tofu. It's high in protein. Yeah, it's made of soya beans, water, tempeh culture, which is rice flour and inoculum, apparently. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm presuming I can just nibble a bit raw. What I didn't realise at the time I was shopping is it's barbecue flavour, this one. It's all granular, look. Granular. I don't see why I can't eat it raw. I'm gonna nibble it. That's really different from tofu. Mmm, it's very nice actually. I'm surprised. I don't taste a lot of barbecue flavour in that, so I'm glad I've got it after all. I can't remember how much it was now. I've thrown the receipt away. It'll be in my shopping vlog though, because I would have said how much it was at the time I bought it. And the serving suggestion, we just kind of got lumps of that on the side with some rice avocado. What shall I do it with? I was thinking I want to use my aubergine up today because it's been sat in the fridge for ages. I seem to be eating it raw, right? Stop it a moment. Oh, there won't be any left for your food. I'll have a little think about what to do. My eating less carbohydrate went right out the window on Friday when I had a date with my boyfriend on everything we ate. We kind of bought where we were. I suddenly realised how difficult as a pescatarian it is to get stuff that's not absolutely loaded with carb. And I thought, does this actually reflect the British diet? Is the British diet just too carby for, a, for all our own goods, you know, I don't know. So I had fish and chips and I had a toasty and a bit of cake and then I'm afraid yesterday I ended up having instant noodles as well because I was just on such a mission to get loads of practice in, loads of editing done and just make the most of not filming and not having to worry about being boring that I just cut corners on feeding as well. So, um, but now I am not, I am going to make something proper. I wonder if that would work with tomatoes. Cause I was thinking do it with tomatoes and aubergine and like fry the aubergine in quite a bit of oil with some lovely yummy seasoning so that it soaks up into the aubergine. So every time you bite into the aubergine, it's just all this juice dribbles into your mouth and you get all these lovely rich flavors. Um, and I got tomato and cream. I got passata and cream, you say, to use. And I thought that might go with it. But I'm trying not to have too much carbs, so I'm not gonna do any rice with it or anything, but probably, like, that would be nice. But um, I'm trying to get back onto it again now, because I uh, was feeling better for it. Okay, here's my usual chili ginger garlic combination. It's gonna go into the oil that I've just been heating in the pan, then I'm gonna chop that up and chuck it in. I put the aubergine in pretty quick before the garlic and all that had a chance to burn because I'm terrible for doing that. Well, I've messed up because apparently I was supposed to just fry it and have it <laughs> fried, oops. Anyway, needless to say, I read the cooking instructions after I threw it in the pan with everything else, but I'm sure it'll still be delicious. I am about to add, oh, well, you might want to know, these are basil leaves off my plant on the windowsill. I'm also gonna add some dried basil and an oxo cube, and then I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes, leave it to simmer and go and work on my thumbnail for tomorrow's upload. 20 minutes later, I've just added some spinach. The broccoli is still crunchy for some reason after 20 minutes, but it's quite nice, but it is crunchy. I keep forgetting about my salad spinner slash washer. It's great, actually. You have to be careful not to overfill it because the water comes riding right up the sides, you know, like in one of those centrifugal fairground rides where everyone gets stuck against the walls. I think if I have that tempeh again, I've just tasted it. It's nice. It's kept its form all right in the, in spite of being boiled when it wasn't supposed to be. Um, if I get it again, which I might do actually, because it's quite nice in spite of being barbecue, 
flavoured or themed or whatever we call it. I, I think if I have it again, I'll have it on one of my quickie lunches that I do in one pan where I might have a fried egg and some fried veg and maybe fry some of that as well all in the same pan so yeah I would get it again but I won't do what I've done with it because I was just being impulsive and not looking at the instructions and just thought I was probably like tofu anyway we're gonna serve it but it's not it's still a bit crunchy but I don't mind it's all right I'm gonna put some cheese on it as well there you go I'm steaming my lens up I am gonna put a ripped up mozzarella slice on it but I haven't done it yet because otherwise you won't be able to see the food I've quite deliberately made way too much because I want to save time this weekend by just not having a lot of cooking time so that's me done now so I can have that for dinner and probably lunch tomorrow as well. I've just emerged out of the cellar. I have now done three hours practice again today. I oh, knacker though. Still seeing improvement every day so it's when you plateau and you stay plateaued for a long time that it can become disheartening but at the moment I'm still on an upward curve. Yeah regaining my former classical technique that I had years ago. Anyway, it's raining. I want to go for a walk, but I don't want to go out in the rain, and I'm not going to, I'm afraid. I'm going to have a little rest for a bit, and then I'm going to get on with an editing project that I need to get on with. I've banished that puzzle from my table, and I'm going to start another one. It's probably going to be a 500 piece. <laughs> it's going to be haberdashery store, and that shouldn't take me long compared to that last blooming beast. 40 minutes later, because I got carried away, so I've made a start on haberdashery store, but I've noticed something funny about this haberdashery store. And I think my mum pointed this out, because she had the same one do you see what they're selling in the haberdashery store books 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 and it even says bookstore on the outside i think they've got the wrong name on that one i'm going to go and have another portion of that food i made earlier and then i'm going to work on my video projects and try not to get distracted and drink coffee good morning it's the next day kettle's just boiled i'm just reheating a bit of that coffee that i did earlier oh it's not that early let's try the clock in the other room for a more accurate view of the time time for a little battery change i think now we'll see how grubby the wall really is and some of this ring is from the clock that was here before there was a nail in the wall of course i just reused it because i'm terrible when it comes to drilling holes in walls so i was telling my friend pippa from the worm's eye view channel today in the dms like telling her how good she is at all that stuff i think a lot of people like this is a big confession now I don't know I feel inadequate saying it at my age now I was raised in an era when men did things like drill holes in walls and put shelves up and they did men jobs and women did women jobs and I just never learned how to do it and then by the time I moved into my own home in my late 20s and tried to do it tried to figure it out I just couldn't do it. So whenever I've tried to drill holes in walls, I try to put as much strength, and I'm not strong, as much of my strength into it as I can to get into the wall, and it just skitters around everywhere and ruins all the plaster. The plaster rains down all over the floor, the carpet, whatever. I still can't make a hole, and in the end, all I'm doing is patching it up with polyfiller and having to repaint it and give up. I mean, you might be thinking, well, maybe you just pressed too hard on the drill. I've tried all different, all different approaches, so I don't know how to drill a hole in a wall. I'm also scared of hitting electricity lines, but Pippa knows how to do it, battery. I had a feeling it was just the battery gone. There's my coffee made anyway. It always looks strong because of the color of the milk. <laughs> oh, I hope this looks all right. I've got the sun right in my face. This is a very rare phenomenon, I'll have you know. So last night I actually wrote my to-do list out in advance before going to bed. I'd seen on a video this advised. In fact, I've seen it for years and I just never usually do it. I usually do it after I got my vlog scheduled for the evening, but I did it last night. And it does make you feel better because you get up knowing exactly what you've got to do in your day. It's great. So I'm very pleased I did it and I'll try and make a habit of that. Anyway, I am going to go practice for an hour. I probably won't film it. I'm, I'm not going to keep filming my practice. It's just every now and then I like to do little updates about how things are going. But I'm going to go do like an hour of technical exercises, that sort of thing. And then I'm going to have an admin hour. That's my plan for the next two hours. I'm going digital with my notes. I haven't started practicing yet. I asked in a video not too long ago, maybe a few weeks ago, if anyone had any recommendations for good digital note taking apps for iPad and somebody recommended Good Notes. I think it was Good Notes 5 or something like that but I've downloaded Good Notes 6 because that seems to be the latest version and I love it! You can set up what stationery you want, it could be dotted, it could be lined and they had manuscript so I was able to just do this and you can make it really big you see so I've dug out an old very low-fi stylus that's that was Isabelle's that she doesn't use anymore just hanging around the house but I'm gonna get myself a digital one I'll look into those. Um, I just made that tune up off the top of my head just to try out writing stuff just to see if it's possible but like I, I don't know how to use it properly yet <laughs> but um, like if you set up a new document for example new notebook for example you can choose the color of the cover the type of paper from blank dotted squared 
narrow ruled, ruled wide, and you can change it afterwards. So you can do your handwritten stuff on this lined paper and then just change the paper later and it disappears so it just looks like you wrote neatly <laughs> all in straight lines. And you can do fun things like convert your handwritten thing. You can lasso it with a lasso tool and convert it to text and things like that. Anyway, I'm in the very early beginnings with it. Oh, look, that's gone to US. No, it hasn't. It's defaulted as US English, but you can change it to UK if you want. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not creating one really. I'll just... I wanted to just tell you about it. Good Notes 6. It's not free. I'm doing a free trial for seven days, but after that it's 9 99 for one whole year or something like 29 99 forever, like a lifetime. So I'll, I'll decide in a week whether to go lifetime or a year. Speaking of note-taking, I've really been upping my game with the practice. I've actually been notating down, you know, how much time I've been spending on everything so I can sort of review that at the end of the week and decide um, whether it's anything too much or too little or whatever. But I've also been making a note of my findings because I'm quite often, you know, I'm troubleshooting all the time trying to work out things I'm having difficulty with. Right, once I've identified them, I'm finding if I write that down and then write my solution, you know, once I've managed to figure it out and, and I can read through that then the next day when I come to practice again and keep those things in the top of my mind, in the forefront of my mind as I'm practicing as well. Oh, and in other news, I sellotaped my piece together because I was getting a bit fed up with all these loose sheets flapping around. It's five past one now. I've done an hour and 20 minutes on technique. I didn't mean to do that much. The phone rang after I'd done about three quarters of an hour and it was Sel in my Kaylee band. He's been delegated an admin task and he was kind of, we've been kind of chatting about it on the phone for a couple of days trying to work something out between us. I've defaulted back to my tried and trusted brilliant technique book, this one. Highly recommend. I was using it for years and years and years and I got so fed up with doing the same things that I got myself a different one, which I have been thoroughly enjoying, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying, which is this one. And it's a lot more varied, it's a lot more, I don't know, it's more interesting, but at the end of the day, this cannot be beaten. <laughs> my opinion, my humble opinion of decades of practicing and trying to maintain technique, this is the one. So I've gone back to it. I've just felt the other one was lacking a bit. It's pretty, uh, it's interesting and it's very good from a sort of practicing sight reading in a way kind of thing. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things I wouldn't otherwise be reading um, with particularly high notes and double sharps and double flats and things like that. So it's been useful for that point of view, but really and I need to get to the mutts nuts now. The dog's bollocks. This is the dog's bollocks. There's a series of these books. This is number six. There's different um, topics. There's like one on breathing, that sort of thing. Uh, I need to dig them out and have a look really. Anyway, I got a bit carried away with it, as you might imagine, because <laughs> I do. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit of admin now, then have lunch, then a bit more admin and then more practicing. Hey, I started this new puzzle late last night after I'd finished everything I wanted to finish yesterday. Oh, I'm going to make a mess of it now, moving this around up. It's not a haberdashery store, it's a bookstore, but anyway, I did that much. Progressing a bit faster with this one, I reckon I'll have that done within two to three days, to be honest with you. Anyway, I was enjoying that. I should cover it back up, really. Otherwise, you know what will happen. I'll get drawn in. I just, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm going to put my jumper over it. Look, protective jumper. That's got to stay on till at least 10 p.m. It's quarter to two now. I've made a tiny scratch in my admin list, but that's okay. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling productive and I'm feeling like we've got some good stuff done. But my tummy is rumbling for lunch, so I'm gonna go and have a forage downstairs in the kitchen. Well, this is easy. Just got that back out of the fridge from yesterday. I cooked once and I've eaten, well, I will have eaten three meals out of that. And I think I may also have some of this tortilla that I bought for a picnic that didn't happen. <laughs> so it needs eating. I hope it's in date still, 25th of July. Of course, that's a long date. Oh, and I think I want an abacus again. And you probably think that is incredibly bizarre, but there is a reason. It's a flute practicing reason. <laughs> it's for counting numbers of times played through things or practiced through things. Like sometimes if I've got a particularly tricky passage in a piece that I'm learning or, you know, a tune that I'm learning, and I might think, right, that needs work, that bit there needs work, that bit there needs work. So I'll do them in isolation, but I might, for example, do them 10 times through each whilst thinking about them and so on. So like, I'll do it once and then click the abacus feed across and do it again and so on. It's just easy to keep count and that way it makes sure that I cover everything that I need to cover in a kind of structured, controlled way. And I always used to use Izzy's abacus when she was little, but of course she grew up and I got rid of it. I think I did anyway. So I was thinking the next time I'm in a charity shop, I'll just keep my eye out. You know what I do is I'll just like find random things like a pile of pens or something and just move one across each time or my post-it notes or something and it's not the same. 
I highly recommend the Little Zone ready to eat tortilla. I tell you what, flipping delicious. You can get them with ham in as well. There we are, that took barely any time at all to put together. It's 20 to four already. I've been very busy at my desk, <laughs> working, working, admining, sorting out music to play, sorting out arrival times for a gig and going back and forth between, you know, organiser, band members, that sort of thing. Yeah, setting timings in stone and communicating them and all sorts of bits and bobs. Communicating with the other Kaylee band as well about something different repertoire and other things uh, anyway yeah so it's been very productive but it is getting on and I need to do some more flute practice this is always a problem when you work at home you write yourself a schedule then you think yeah but if I just hang the washing out it can be starting to dry already and then yeah this is where things start to go astray but never mind it's all good it's all getting things done in it 4 p.m now i've got myself all organized laundry hung out remembered i forgot to print something out that i needed for now anyway now is me forgetting all about my audition stuff i'm going to practice on material that i've got to play possibly on saturday at an upcoming gig that i've just been sorting logistics for anyway i'm going to work my way through that probably for one hour just finish my flute practice up for the day i've done just over three hours again t in total today I did, what well, I don't know, like an hour and 50 minutes or something like that just then, but I did break it up because I went and sorted the dishwasher out in the meantime. Anyway, I'm going to cook myself some dinner now. It's just coming up to six o'clock, look. It's half past six now. I've been making myself a very green curry. It's got in it broccoli, mushrooms, courgette, green pepper, green lentils. It's also got this lot. I've left it all out for you so I can show you quickly. A stock cube some soy sauce, ginger, ground coriander, some hot curry powder, that was the last one, I've used it up, coriander seeds whole, cumin seeds whole, and a bit of lemon juice. Oh, and there's a whole potato in there, very, very finely diced. Broccoli, did I say broccoli? And green beans as well. Because I'm trying to shift a few post Easter egg pounds, cream eggs, Reese's, yeah, they were very nice, they were very nice, but... God, I just went straight on, didn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, I've been just reducing my carb, but the way I'm sort of managing that, it's easier at home. I'm more doing it at home than when I'm out because when I'm out, it's just, there's not always the options available. But when I'm at home, if I'm making, for example, a curry that you'd normally have with rice, instead of having the rice, I'm just doubling up the curry. But there is potato in there and lentils, so there are, there is some carbohydrate in there. It's not completely void of carb, but it's not as carby as a portion of rice and like the last meal I ate was very tomato-y and I normally you'd have pasta or something like that with that or couscous but I didn't I just doubled up the amount of the jollopy stuff which is mostly vegetables and protein so that's how I'm doing that and I think I might have lost four pounds but I don't know because my scales they're the old-fashioned mechanical ones I got so fed up with the battery going all the time on the electronic ones that I invested in, some just normal old fashioned ones, but they weighed in at half a stone lighter than the digital ones. So I don't know, I feel different. I feel a bit uh, more streamlined, shall we say. Because I was putting my hands on my hips a couple of weeks ago and like they were, it was going up higher. Hang on, it's going up higher than it should have been normally, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do what I did yesterday. I'm gonna put a timer on and I'm gonna go upstairs and do some editing while that's cooking away. I need to turn it down, actually. Uh, so in order to edit the vlog, I need to kind of round it up really for the day. But thank you so much for watching it. Do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. That helps channels to grow because it gives a positive signal to the algorithm and the algorithm is more likely to surface that video to other people. Also, there's a playlist of some videos of mine if you'd like to watch some more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.